today is make another one of these uh, shop benches right here. Just do a quick little bench, two two befores and some screws is all you need. Um, we might glue this one up just to see. Uh, this one's all nails, so they're starting to pop up a little bit, but it's still pretty strong. Um, it, it serves purpose. Changing tires, it's the perfect height for working on brakes, tires, all that kind of stuff. A lot of our uh, lawn mowers and the, go the golf carts and stuff, it's just the perfect height for carrying around in the shop and stuff. So um, we're going to make another one because one of us is either using it the next time someone <laughs> that Philip or I want to use it. So uh, we need to, to get another one here. Uh, the other bench we have is a little, it's higher and it's made for working on this thing. So um, we need another short one like this. And it's real quick. Two two befores. Uh, all 14 here and 14 across here. Um, these are 14 and a half because that's the, the size I made it back then. Uh, when I originally made this one, um, it was for... Uh, Philip was pitching a lot and Thomas was pitching and so it was a nice height of a bench to sit and uh, catch for them So we would just use it out here in the backyard and whatever um, But we like it that height, so we're gonna make it exactly the same You could adjust it to your height just by changing the leg size. Um, this is a good pl good size butt plate because uh, it doesn't get in the way when you're working and things so we're keeping that size as well um, the only thing I would probably do different um, if you wanted comfortable was to route these off. Um, th this side, you know, the two before is pretty smooth anyway, but you might want to route these side edges. That way it doesn't matter which way you turn it. But we usually just make sure we have that side there. It's less work. Yeah. It makes it easy to put together. But anyway, again, uh, 14. So you'll need six at 14, four for the top and two for the sides. You'll need four at 14 and a half and two at eight inches. And then, um, It'll come out with just a little bit extra on both of these boards, and you just uh, put it together, screw it down. Uh, we stained it just uh, because it was going to be outside and stuff. But um, yeah, that's about it. So let me get those cut, and then I'll come back when I get ready to put it together. Okay, so there we go. We've got six at 14, two at eight, and four at 14 and a half. And then we will, uh, you know, just put these together. But these actually will go right here, like this on the inside, as rails and sides, like that. And then your four legs will go in here on top of each board, in each corner, like that. There, and then these should fit right in here, like that. Just to barely off. Yeah, right. There we go. Just like that. So I can put them in. I'll probably put them right about in the middle, maybe a little lower. Um, and then that's it. Screw it together. Uh, might glue it if you want to. I'll probably glue this one just to keep it a little stronger. And um, anyway, that's what's next: is to glue it up and screw it. So what I'm going to do first is just make each side's legs, and then I will lay that down and screw it on there. I'm just going to square it up as best I can with the hand, and, uh, and screw it down. All right, so there's the two leg assemblies. Now I just need to attach it to the top and the two braces. And then um, it'll be done. Just need to stain it. But this one probably won't stain for quite some time because it's just going to stay in the shop here. And then we got Caitlin over here working on those flags for 4th of July. And uh, we thought it'd be really easy. She drew up a stencil and cut it out of uh, index cards. But as you can see on that red one right here, it didn't work very well, so now she's just freehanding it. Of course, that's why we had her do it, because she's the artist. And um, she'll be done in no time now. And then we'll have those finished. In the future, what we'll do is probably find a stencil online and order it, and then cut the boards to that size, and then we can just spray paint them easier. And of course, you can use nails if you want to. Uh, that's what we used on the other bench. Probably a lot easier and faster, but we have plenty of these screws and I like them. They're the uh, 
self-drilling star bits or star bit head things. So they work pretty good for stuff like this. Bite into the wood release. And then for these, just uh, eyeball them in the middle somewhere wherever you want them. And uh, they'll make nice bracing for the side legs. We don't have to be fighting over this one. Um, they're good for, you know, six dollars. Two two befores, that's all it costs. Plus some nails that you have in your shelf, or some screws, some glue. And uh, you can even use them for a coffee table, you know, just put off the nice uh, side on the porch or whatever. Uh, we use them as step stools also to get up into the rafters real quick. Uh, they're pretty sturdy. Took me maybe an hour with uh, cutting and gluing and all the stuff that you saw. So. Uh, real quick project and an easy workbench, um, perfect height for you know lawnmowers, uh, walk, wheels, tires, brakes, you know that kind of thing. Um, the golf carts, everything, and the motors are right here, so it's a perfect height for us. Um, of course, you can you know modify it and just you know make the legs longer if you wanted a taller bench or whatever. So um, anyway, it's a real quick project, easy and very useful. So. Thanks for watching, and as always, subscribe and like. Leave some comments about other ideas that we can do or maybe things that you've done in your shop. Um, I'm always looking for improvements. Our shop's a mess, and we need help. So, uh, you know, organizing and hanging stuff on the wall, those kind of things are really cool ideas, and I'd love to make some of them. So uh, just leave those comments down there and let me know uh, what you guys use. And, um, you know, subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. Help us out, and we'll keep them coming. And thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.